Hi there. Today I would like to talk about how we can be able to interface the 2.4 inch TFT touchscreen using the ILI9341 driver. And this is more of a beginner's guide to how we can connect this touchscreen to the Arduino. So before I give you the exact way of how to do that, let me first have a small look at the screen itself. So this is our screen. There are different pins here, and even has a port for putting a micro SD card. If you have to spoke, to show any information like images on the screen, you can use a micro SD card here. So we also have different pins here. I uh, begin from this side. This is the VCC, which can go to the five volts of the Arduino. Then you have the ground pin going to ground. We have the chip select. This is the reset. This is the data selection and this is the SPI bus write data signal this is the clock and this is the LED this LED can be connected to the 3 volts 3.3 volts of the Arduino or you can control it you can put it on A0 like you're going to be seeing in most of the code that I'm writing then this is the bus read data signal so these are the pins here from here up to here, these first pins will help you to use the screen as a normal screen just for maybe displaying some information but without using the touch abilities. So these are the remaining part. As you can see, it's even been specified. This is, this is the part which controls the touch screen. So from here, you can be able to see this is the clock, chip select. This is the input, this is the output, and this is the interrupt. So, and this interrupt is usually low level. So you can check the description below, the link where I'll put more description of these pins here. You can be able to connect this screen to the Arduino. But one thing you have to take note of is that this screen uses 3.3 volts logic level, or the Arduino board uses 5 volts. And this screen is not 5 volt toilet, therefore you cannot connect it directly to the Arduino input and output pins. So to do with that problem, we need to find a way of changing, enabling this 3.3 volts logic level to be connected to the 5 volts. That's why you're going to be putting some resistors, the 10 k resistors here, to avoid spoiling the screen. I'll be showing you a simple schematic of how that wiring is done. But as you can see from here, I have a simple setup that I made myself so that I can be able to use those different LEDs. So from here, we can place our LCD on the Arduino and then we can be able to, we can be able to show the kind of different libraries and examples that we need to be able to use this screen with Arduino. So before we can be able to use the TFT touchscreen display, we need to download the necessary libraries and add them to the Arduino IDE. There are a number of libraries that have been developed to run those TFT displays, but I prefer using the ones from this website here. I'll put the link in the description. It's the lcdwiki.com. They have some good libraries and examples that can help the beginners to get used to now to go about this display. So from here, what you do when you go to this website, you just simply go to the reference materials. Then there is what you call the Arduino ID software. This is illustrations. Then when you click here, the materials are going to be downloaded automatically. Then you can also get some module instructions for use on Arduino. You also click here and then they are downloaded. So they are going to be downloaded in the form of a zip file. And after downloading, you go to where that zip file is saved. For example, in my case, yeah, this is the zip file I downloaded from the other website. And this is the unzipped folder. So inside this folder, you can get a different other folders here you can get the specifications for the display uh, get the diagram the driver data sheet the schematic very many useful information here but for the case of a 
tutorial here we are mainly interested in the demonstration so we go to demo this demo will give you various codes to be used various ICs you are using and development environments so in this case I'm using Arduino so I'm going to go to the demo for Arduino then inside here I will see the libraries so go to install libraries so make sure you have these three libraries installed so what you do is simply copy these folders and paste them in the directory where you store your Arduino libraries. So from there, we can go back to the demonstrations. Yeah, these demos have various examples that can be used to run on our TFT display. So for example, I'm going to be using the Arduino Uno and I'm going to be using the software SPI. So I click here and from here you see there are quite a number of already made examples. These examples you can begin using them to demonstrate how the LCD display is going to be using. Let's begin by first showing the simple display properties of this TFT display and in this case I'm only going to wire up the first nine pins here to the Arduino and I'll leave out the touch pins for the meantime so that you can test whether this LCD is working. For example, let me begin with a simple example here. Let me see display string. So from here you can open this program and see what's inside here. So this is our display spring. So from this it will give you the model that ILI9341 then it gives you the wiring of the pins the corresponding pins from here you simply upload the program and then you observe what happens on you so you can get another example an example I can use the display graphics. This is a common example which is used by many LCD displays. So this is the display graphics. So I'm going to upload this to the Arduino board and see what happens with my TFT display. One thing you have to observe with this display graphics example is that it's going to be running a bit slowly by slowly on the display because of the limited RAM this one is only using 8kb RAM so that's why the graphics are running slowly by slowly but in case you are using a powerful a more powerful microprocessor than the Arduino then it will be okay let me try another example so you can try there are very many examples here you can try on your own and check them out and see i can use this one let me see this one red pixel yeah so this one also shows you the it gives you the demo of how to read colored data from a specified point so you can also run this one and see what you are going to get So now we are going to test the touch aspect of the screen. In that case, we need to wire up these other remaining part of the TFT LCD. I'll be putting a schematic to show you how these other remaining five pins are going to be connected with Arduino. Then from there, we can be able to upload the touch screen example from the Arduino library that we downloaded and we test our touch property so after wiring the touch part of the screen then you can be able to get one of these other examples for the touch pen the common one is this one which can be used to show how to use the touch pen so this is the example I will upload it and this pen you specify the pin settings for the LCD or the TFT display and then you also specify the pin parameters for the touch section of the display. 
then the rest of the code you can fold it up slowly by slowly then you also upload and then see how you are going to be using the touch part of the display there are three buttons one button is for the color another one is for clearing the screen and the other one for selecting the kind of paint that you want for example if i press color here it is going to give me different colors of the kind of text i want to use for example i can select uh, green i press ok then i can choose the kind of pen i want in other words it gives you this the thickness of the pen that you want there is one up to four no one is very thin it won't be seen clearly so let me choose four okay then from there i can be able to write so you can see yeah like that so we have tested our touch properties if you want to clear the screen you press the middle one like that 